Hello everyone and welcome to the final of this Stormworks Community Build Challenge. I hope you're all well and staying safe. Two weeks ago, I challenged you, the community, to build an awesome freight train here in Stormworks. Well, with over 50 submissions later and a round of voting on my Discord server, we have already seen the first five submissions and this time around, we get to see the second five followed by announcing the final winner of the challenge. Now, before we get started, if you're enjoying these videos, comment below and what else you'd like to see in any of my future videos. While you're there, don't forget that like and subscribe button and make a little bell icon to be notified my upcoming content as soon as it gets posted. So all said, let's get straight into it and get started with the first submission. And spawning in the first creation, we have the BR269 by Offensive Player. Now, really cool looking train, a very interesting design here with the centerpiece here. Uh, but let's have a look on the outside. So we have in the front a connector with some enable and enable electric connection. So we can actually pass through electric, which is pretty cool. We have some angled blocks here. It looks like he's got it on a hinge. Uh, with some painted lights, which is quite nice. And you can see he's got actually some lights hidden underneath that. Oh, quite interesting. Uh, along with that is the inside, some refueling over here. Electric has it. Actually, he's gone and oh wow, he's actually written on these. That's pretty cool. He's gone and actually that's a lot of detailing. Cool. Another door to get in, and exactly the same on the other side. Okay, so let's go and jump in. Let's see what we have in here. So I like how he's got this window block here because the window block means that you actually don't have to um, have a big block and it counts as a big block. But you can see here, I can just jump and I can actually stand on it, which is awesome. Jump up and get inside. I would have made this one higher because I know it looks like the player can fit in there, but he actually can't. You have to jump and crouch to get in. Okay, let's close the door. What do we have? So we have, um, if this is set to off, the train will indicate emergency stop. Okay. Uh, we have a heater, cab lighting, engine room lighting, and disable auto brake. Okay. Uh, we still need a light switch. We have some engines, nice detailing, some radios there. We have emergency stop, breaker room. Okay, that's pretty cool. So we've got some breakers in here. We have cab power, engine room lights, machine, drive motors, generators, uh, battery warning, system battery, okay. All our gauges, track switcher frequency, cool. Let's set that to 440. Uh, pantograph height up and down. So that's the pantograph on top. That's cool. I actually want to go have a look at that. Okay, so you can actually hire, raise it or lower it. That's nice. Cool. And then switch uh, front and rear pantograph. Okay, cool. So nice little electrical panel there. Let's carry on. So we have some wheels. I'm guessing this is for an infra generator, electricity power, possibly. I could be wrong. We have a control room at the back here. Uh, so we control it from either side. Nice detailing on the floor too. What do we have in this seat? So it says dummy. Okay, fair enough. Uh, frequency current frequency activate radio and microphone we have release emergency stop emergency stop uh we have electric mode generators switch tracks speed up and down reverse set speed to zero and horn Horn works perfectly nothing else here let's get our generators okay so that starts and we get a map screen we can switch to electric mode we'll test that later switch tracks so right currently Right currently, okay, so that's not working. Uh, we'll see why later. Let's get speed up. So, oh, that's pretty cool. So it's got like a set speed thing in it. That's pretty cool. So you can actually change the speed here and the train will change its speed. Nice, that's very nice. Uh, electric mode. Now we're completely electric and I'm guessing it's using those generators and things to control itself. Now, because this track switcher is not working, and you can just see it's not changing the track as we press it, we're gonna have to manually go and change the tracks here, which is not gonna be fun. So I'm actually gonna, oh wait, hold on, there's the reverse and a set speed to zero. So it sets it to 250, and then sets it to zero. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's try the emergency stop. Okay, we're stopped. Uh, I'm gonna, that's fine, that's signal. 
Let's just go and test this signal here. I'm gonna change this guy. Should be fine. And then we can go forward and then backwards and then we should be able to go pick up my cab there and see how well that connects and if it's at the right height, etc. Let's jump inside here. And get the door closed. Let's go. Let's get the emergency brake off. Get our throttle up. So you can see we can just set it all the way up here. Okay, so the top one is actually moving and that one then tries to reach it. So I'm guessing it's using a PID system for that. Let's go and decrease our speed here because we will need to go into reverse any second. And let's put it in reverse. Okay, that works perfectly. Okay. We're still moving. I'm going to put the emergency brake on. It almost feels like it doesn't actually... Well, actually, we are stopped, so that's just... Okay, hmm, interesting. Uh, reverse, thank you. And let's go backwards now. We'll set it up quite high. So 60. Now, I don't know what that is, if that's kilometers, miles per hour, or just meters per second. I'm not too sure. Antigraph is raised a little bit more. It's quite nice. Okay, let's go in. Probably start killing our throttle here. Okay, and we can just slowly go in and try and go and pick up that carriage that we have. Slowly shine. I like the lights are automatically changing. So now we've got white at the back and red at the front. Okay, we're going. We just might need to get a little more throttle. Up to about 1.9. Maybe a little more. Okay, and our throttle. Most connected. Ah, you know what we need to do? We need to get out and actually enable the connector at the back. I would have liked to see the connectors enabled by default. That's just my opinion on the matter, but that should now go if we just go and push it ever so slightly. That should go and connect automatically now. There we go, and connected. So that's working and it's at the right height too, which is perfect. Let's go and jump and let's see what kind of speed we can get up to on this guy. So we're still, I think, are we in electric mode or diesel mode? Okay, we're in electric mode, so we'll see what that can do. So let's get the reverse off. And we need to be at zero. Okay, reverse off, then let's get the speed. I think we'll just use that, can't we? There we go, so 250 set speed. Should now pull us up nice speed here. Putting in that carriage works well. This is all electric, by the way, at the moment, using, I'm guessing, a battery and also his infinite generator. Don't know what our battery actually is, to be honest. Oh, ooh, okay, we need to, we can't leave here because the emergency stop is just activating itself because we left the cab. He's got a player sensor somewhere here, I think. Smart thing. Smart, definitely smart. Let's go and get our speed up here. Yeah, let's see what kind of top speed we can get to with just the electric motors. And then we'll switch to diesel and see what it can get to on that. So currently 30. I'm going to pick up some speed here shortly. Pantograph is a really nice touch to it. Like that. that angled block in there. No, it's a straight block. Okay, we are quite moving quite well, actually. It is quite decent. I love the detail with the paint blocks. More paint blocks, the better. So 115 around here. Switch diesel. Okay, now we're starting to pick up some speed here. Like this. The monitor that comes up with the map. And also he's got a, half of it hidden to make it a long monitor. Also a really, really smart thing to do. 170, I wonder if it can get up to that 250 mark. I think we'll have to wait until we get on some straights here and see what it can actually do. I actually want to see what's wrong with that track switcher because he's got everything set up. It just I'm sure there's something missing he's got on the logic. And guys, if you're telling me, oh, I just need to turn this on, I'm almost certain I don't have to do that. Um, let's see what speed we can get to. 220, 225, 30. Okay, I have no doubt that that's going to hit around 250 uh, with diesel engines. 
almost there's no wheel slip which is actually really good really really good 242 awesome great speed let's kill everything power off emergency stop on no wheel slip are we actually stopping are we gonna stop Uh, I guess not. Okay, it's, it's going to take a while for it to... I would have liked that emergency stop to actually just activate the brakes instead of killing the throttle. That's what it seems like it's done. It's just lowered the throttle and the train's going to try and stop. Uh, I guess it is more a little more realistic because trains do take a really long time to stop, especially if they're carrying a lot of carriages. But uh, I'm not sure. I'm going to just go to back to the workbench quickly. I just want to see what's up with this frequency. Okay, so we're back here in the workbench now. We're just going to quickly find out why this frequency is not working. Now, we know that he's got a button here to change the tracks. And we know that he or she has got the frequency here. So let's follow this. Let's see what's going on. So output track switcher, which is the frequency, is going up into a radio antenna. Hold on. Is your transmit mode. You need to transmit this. That's why it's not working. I'm telling you now, if I go and put an on signal on that, that's gonna work. On signal, spawn. In the train, we'll get everything on and just make sure everything's gonna work. Close the door, open there. Let's go in here, let's turn everything on. On, 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 on. 440. Change tracks. Currently it's left. Then it's right. Simple on button. But listen, anyway, this is a lovely creation. I love the detail. Um, flooring is awesome. The train works perfectly well. I'm not 100% convinced on the emergency brake system. But once again, that's your preference. You guys let me know in the comments below. But I'm I'm really disappointed about the track switcher. Just one simple on signal would have fixed everything. Uh, but lovely creation. Let's go and move on to the next one. And moving on to the next one, we have the Norfolk Southern SD40-2. This is a creation done by Fenu, and while it looks absolutely gorgeous, um, really really nice detailing. I love the paint blocks around it. Um, yeah, really, really cool. Let's have a look around on the outside. So we've got a paint block with looks, oh, sorry, an electric connector with a release connector, it looks like. I love the detailing here underneath the cab, really quite nice. Uh, looks like we have electrical cable with a winch. Okay, so you can go and recharge other things if you need to. Does it say there? Okay, you need to have an uh, engine on for it to do that. Refueling. Nothing on the outside here in terms of like doors or hatches, camera at the back. We have another connector and the same on the other side. Okay, so let's go and get inside here. Yeah, let's just go around the back here. I want to test the back. So nice he's got some curved blocks there. Let's go and get inside. What's that then? There's missing blocks. Okay. Um, hold on. Can I not get in here? I can't get in because of these GPS sensors. Can I jump? Oh, I can't jump. Okay. So I would remove those. That's my opinion. Um, but okay, let's see what else we have. So we have, looks like a radio system here to just talk on radio. We have slave master system, battery, which looks very low, uh, brakes, fuel, seats, dynamic brakes, reverse, throttle, uh, engine kills, Brake systems, fuel pumps, throttle controls, high torque mode, headlights, ditch lights, switch, and change signal. Cool. Okay, so let's get inside. So let's go and throttle brakes off. Throttle, fuel pumps, brake systems, high torque mode, no, headlights. Sure. Ditch lights. Is the ones underneath? No? Are they ones underneath? I would have thought there would have been the ones underneath, but okay, let's turn it off. Uh, switch to change track. So currently it's right. Let's go and switch it. Yes, left at working perfectly. Cool. And that's about it. Let's go and get it some throttle. Moving nice and smoothly. Speed is going very well. That's quick. Nice. Very nice and clean. Let's go past the signal here and see if we need to change. No, we don't. Get some brakes on. Oops, let's get it in reverse. Throttle up, 
go reverse a bit. That's very clean, very smooth so far. Bands on the top there, looks like a set aesthetics only. Uh, switch tracks, we do not need to because we have the tracks lined up perfectly. Uh, we can reverse back in here. Oh, hold on, there's a monitor now. Oh, I need some brakes. That was almost perfect. I didn't plan that. Um, cool. Let's connect it, it's at the right height. Great. Let's get our throttle off, reverse off, and let's get forward throttle. Let's see what speed we can get up to this on this guy. Then change to change one more time. We'll go right here. All along that way. So we're at oh, almost 100 miles per an hour. Pulling that carriage perfect. Nice detail. 120. Guessing the high torque mode is going to lower our speed. Oh no, it actually looks like it brought it up a little bit. Probably just create more wheel slip, to be honest. Put that off. 123. It will probably open up a little bit. I'm guessing around 130, 140 might be the top speed here on this guy. Um, but I think that's that's fine. Like everything else. Everything else is working. So I'm a little bit concerned about the battery. Uh, I like he's got the signal strength. That's nice. A little touch. Cool. Lovely creation. Everything just works flawlessly. Um, a little, this, this bothers me, but that's the only thing. Uh, but yeah, awesome creation. Let's go and move on to the next one. And spawning the next one in, we have the DB234BR130 by Sir Murtak. Now this is an awesome creation, as I know already, I've already checked it out on a top 5 video. It's been really popular in the workshop. But let's have another closer look and let's just see, obviously, as well it works with obviously all the testing stuff that we need to do with it for this build challenge. Uh, we got some connectors here at the front and some lovely detailing underneath it. Absolutely gorgeous detailing, paint blocks everywhere really really nice even got detail of painting that different color Ooh, is that some gloss underneath there oh yeah it's just for that really nice detailing really cool even the door handles there exceptional okay let's jump inside so just jump can we just jump or do we actually have to use uh we need to use handle okay so let's go inside here uh, so we have like a little locker tool room in here. Nice medical equipment, locker, lights, using paint blocks there. Nice, beautiful cab. We'll check out the cab on the other side. But that's awesome. Uh, looks like we have battery, connector power. We have a CIFA system we won't be checking out today. All of our power is on. Electrical relays, we've got our battery and our lights. Get the lights on in here. Get turn this light. No. Hey. A button for that lights anywhere here doesn't look like it okay uh cool let's turn the light off let's head across lovely detailing in here we've got the engine temperatures rpms we have the light again just over there we can turn it on okay let's turn that off we have like a high vis jacket another panel and then all the settings and things in here so we've got a pallet seat for Co-pilots, uh, frequency to change tracks. Okay, so 440 for Jersey. Let's see. No, I'm on 440, not zero. Okay. Uh, radio power. Cool, nice little radio there. Press signal change. Let's test that. So right at the moment, left then. Perfect. Paintable sign, clocks, max speed. 140, throttle forward, reverse, master key, headlights, heater, instrument lights, fuel pumps, air compressor, engine starter, brake lever, and guessing speed. Okay, let's test this out. So, instrument lights, cab lights, headlights, all working beautifully. Uh, forward reverser, safe system horn, starter, fuel pumps, air compressor. That works. Air Building up pressure now. Awesome. Uh, brake is off. Let's get our handbrake off too. Nice. I love the detailing with the paint blocks. Okay, that's going down. Awesome. Uh, let's go and get throttle up. And we're moving. Nice. 
love the windows. Fans at the top spinning. Really nice. Bring along nice and slowly at 0.24 throttle. Uh, let's change tracks actually. And we'll just then send it off into a reverse mode. Reverse. Roll up again. And then we should just be able to back up into that carriage and grab it. Get our throttle up here. We'll decrease it any second. Should be fine. Like how the lights have automatically changed. That's cool. Okay, so we'll just cruise in here. Let's drop our throttle down a little bit. Throttle is very active, which is very nice. Feel like that's almost linked up to set speed. Almost. I don't think it is, but I could be wrong. Let's just go back up into here. Connect that on. Oh, why is that not getting connected? There we go. Now it's connected. Awesome. Full throttle. Let's get full throttle. Let's see what this guy can do. Oh, that's quick. Is that the right height? That's moving well. What speed are we doing? Okay, so we're doing 100 plus 97. So, wow, okay. So nearly 200 kilometers per hour. No wheel slip. Awesome. Look at the detailing over there. Didn't see that earlier. That's really cool. Beautiful train. Really nice. Definitely, definitely set the bar very high with that one. Uh, cool. Let's move on to the next creation. And spawning in the next one, we have the British Rail Class 40 by Flex Tape and A Reef. Now, straight away, I can see this looks really cool, obviously, with a nice livery on it. Really, really cool. I love the attention to detail, even with the paint blocks here along the side to make it look like it's dirty. Really cool. Going in the front, uh, nice silhouette to it. Looks pretty cool, like how he's used the transponders there. Let's move around, let's see what else we have. Connector at the front, of course. Looks like we have some nice detailing just around here. Way to get in, more paint blocks. Another way to get in, more paint blocks. And looks like the same on the other side. Okay, so let's go and get inside here and see how this works. Let's start at the back here. Go and get in and... Okay, so we have to use a handle to get in. Can we? Okay, let's try again and there we go so we're inside let's go and close that door uh, so it looks like we have AW switch some cab lights and a few other things so we'll go back to the other side I think and let's go and see if we can get it going from the other side because that it will be our direction of travel so go and open Door and then use the handle here to get in if the system will let me grab the handle yeah okay and let's go in cool let's get that door closed and oh there's an engine room door why can't okay main isolation switch and aw switch there we go now we can get an engine room Ooh, nice detailing some dirt and mud and things engine room lights very nice and bright in here Okay, cool. I like the detailing with mud. That's a really nice touch. I don't know why there's something over my head here that I can't walk through, but okay. Uh, oh, we got some more things on that side. Hold on. So we have radiator vents. What does that do? Does that change anything? Have a look. The door, get in the seat. Doesn't look like it changed anything. Okay. Go back in and we'll turn that off just in case that actually does anything. Uh, what else do we have? Air, RPM temperatures. Okay. All the usual things that we normally would have in the engine room, which is pretty useful, of course. Uh, let's see. We've got a, like a passenger seat here with a handbrake. We have radio communication frequencies. So receiving audio, push to talk. Okay. Uh, receive audio, push to talk, signal strength, instrument lights, tail cabs. Ok, 
Okay, camp lights. Okay, so that's orange at the back and white at the front. Cool. We have train brake. Sander, which is torque. Engine start, stop. Engine prime, horn. Prime on. And horn works. Engine stop. Engine starts. And stopped. Okay, we'll check that in a few seconds. Track switcher, reverser, heaters, handbrake. Please read the instructions okay on how to use this. Okay. So we've got the main isolation on, we've got AA switch on. Okay, let's see. So we need to move the reverse, I think. Let's see, where is the throttle? Reverse, we need to set that at three. Okay, that's fine. Prime the engine. I would think something would be going up. What about, he said 30 seconds, so we'll give it about 30 seconds. Engine started, there we go. Okay. Cool, so we got going. So now we should be able to just move along, I think. Uh, let's see, brake off, throttle up. Okay, while well, that throttle. 0 0.2, we're getting wheel slip. Yeah, I guess we could get the torque. Why are we getting wheel slip? So. At such a low speed. 0.3. Brakes are... Brakes are off. Almost certain. Ah, the brakes were on. Okay, so we'll get that off. Then we can start decreasing our throttle. Okay. Let's just stop it here. I don't need to go any further because I want to test to switch tracks. So currently right, left, okay, so they work perfectly, great, set up by default, that's awesome. Uh, can we get it in reverse, so... Let's reverse now. Boards is... okay, maybe now. Brakes are off. Throttle. We actually can't get any throttle, so maybe two. Is that reverse? It is two. Okay, so two is reverse. Ooh, we need to get this throttle on. Okay, so that works perfectly. Let's go and pick up the... Oh, I need to get some brakes on. More brakes. More brakes. Oof. That was going really quickly. Okay, damage is just ever so slightly, but it's fine. Uh, let's get it in forwards and let's get break off. Let's get our throttle up. 0 0.10. That's very quick. Very, very quick, actually. Yeah, really good. Let's get the. Let's see if we can get our throttle all the way up and let's see what we can. What kind of speed we can get to? Where is our speed? Whoa! 200 and we're only at this thing is going to probably pick up some speed here 70 80 200 kilometers per hour one throttle how oh, we are moving so i don't know what it's going to get to when we get to straight bit here because we are literally holding on dear life to stay on the track here Stop prime starts. 206. Okay, straight part. Let's see how we get on here. Two hundred and six, two hundred and seven. Okay, so about two hundred and seven top speed. Really good, really fast. Awesome creation. Love the detailing with the paint blocks. Really, really quite nice. 
cool another really nice one let's go ahead and move on to the last submission and moving on to the last one we have is the br class 08 and this is done by joe barnes now this is probably the smallest one we've seen and it looks really cool um i love the design here we've got tons of paint blocks loads of detailing once again with some dirt and some grime got a little what is this a little hatch what's in here looks like just an engine hatch okay fair enough let's go and close that off we have front with some lights and a disconnect for the electric another hatch here small paint blocks and what's that okay so a door to get in and out plus doors on that side okay once again another connector over here okay automatic closing door nice nice touch actually we don't need to touch it because it's closing by itself uh we got some controls oh quite nice and a heater light uh train track frequency so that's 440. we can we switch now i don't know we'll try this now uh radio frequency brakes reverser headlight mode okay uh, monitor engine power engine on off throttle up and down that all works very well so headlights on and off very easy actually um monitor the currently track is left let's see if we can switch it right well done yeah it works well done awesome uh and that's it really we just need to oh hello okay so 0 0.2 throttle gets us going at a nice steady pace 0 0.4 gets us moving a little bit quicker cameras i'm guessing it's going to switch directions soon uh when we go into reverse so let's get throttled down like that brakes brakes work perfectly reverse switch cameras awesome moving there we are cool so we're moving backwards lovely paint blocks at the back also Okay, we didn't switch tracks. Okay, so what have I done wrong there? Let's get brakes on. Reverse off, brakes off, throttle up. Let's just move forward here. We'll change the tracks again. Okay, some brakes. Should be on the right direction now. Oh, brakes off, throttle up. Let's get moving. That's very quick, wow. Okay, so we're coming in, switch tracks, we need to switch tracks again, no we don't, perfect, we're in line, oh, we need to get some brakes on though, uh, brakes, okay, brakes off, it's very quick, no, it's not quick, roll up, roll down, roll up, roll down, okay, so we'll just cruise in here, and brakes. That was connected really quickly and really nicely. Brakes off. Let's get throttle up. Slowly bring speed up. So that's connected right high two, which is really good. Okay, let's go 0 0.6. Let's see what speed we can get to. That's quick. 0 0.8, a little bit of wheel slip. I'm hoping it's gonna go away any second. No. 0.6 right again no more no okay so 0 0.6 there's no mode for high torque or anything but so far really nice everything just works and it's very clean and very easy to work with i really like it i would have preferred maybe a, a two by two screen that's just me nitpicking here i don't see anything wrong with this one awesome creation love the design i'm slightly concerned on how many carriages you can pull with this let's see if we can get our speed up here oh yeah now we're gonna pick up some speed feels good speed 60 meters per second which is what i don't even know how to do the calculations anymore these days but that's quick and okay, let's see if we can get up full speed here 50 so it looks around 60 meters per second is our top speed but awesome awesome little creation really really quite nice 
really nice level of detail on it too. In the top here, looks like it's just compactly filled with pretty much everything you need, which is really cool. And very different and out the box also with this. Uh, let's go and let's actually let's go and get our throttle down. Let's see how quickly it stops. She does quite a good job. Brakes on. Oh, hello. Uh, game is freaking out a bit. Nice, lovely. It works. Uh, except that door. Why do I feel like that door's stuck on something? Oh, the outside here. Can we open it from this side? Oh, it seems like it's broken. It doesn't want to open. It's on the wrong way. Okay. Uh, cool. Lovely, lovely creation. Let's go back to the workbench and let's have a look at all the creations and we'll choose a final winner. So we're back here at the workbench. Now, of course, it's time to choose a winner of this challenge. Now there's been some really awesome submissions from the DB lines that we have down here to the American, the Canadian trains that we have, Brazilian, the obviously even the, in the Norfolk design here. Uh, there's another one of the BR trains, more of the BR and one of the obviously British railway cars. Uh, some really, really lovely trains and you know, from part one and part two, there've been some really, really cool designs. Uh, I love the American style. I think they look absolutely awesome. This futuristic train, which is incredible too. Uh, and there's been some really, really nice ones. And, you know, I think all of them have done really, really well, but unfortunately I do have to choose a winner here. And I'm just gonna briefly go over it. You know, these trains were cool. Uh, I did actually read a comment about someone saying that, these Brazilian trains were bought from Americans and then they were converted to a narrow gauge. That's why it's actually looks like this underneath it. So it makes much more sense uh, in comparison to like a standard one here. But um, yeah, really cool. This one was great. It just worked really well. A couple issues with track signal, uh, signal things on some of these trains. I don't know why they didn't work. Um, this one from Sir Matak, absolutely excellent. Uh, and then, you know, even the ones we had from flex tape and things, but yeah, this one, uh, you know, this one for me was one of the really, really cool ones, especially as even this one, uh, this one was just really small, detailed, very simple to use. Same goes with this one. It was really lovely designed and detailed. Um, this with all its futuristic things in it and fortunately this one had a little problem with the track switcher. Uh, this was also really, really nice really well designed uh, but yeah once again we have to choose a winner but you know, I think we're gonna have to go with Sir Matax one on this one the amount of level of detail in this everything just worked it was I think you know I think you really set the bar really high with this one and fortunately I don't know uh, the, uh, there was a few that came very close to it uh, you know these two came very close that also came very close to it. Uh, even the Norfolk came close, but I think he's just really hit it out the park with this one. And yeah, what an awesome, awesome creation and well done once again. And I'll keep on saying it to every single one of you, you should all be very, very proud of all the creations that you guys have made. Uh, two weeks and some of these creations are absolutely incredible. So very, very well done to all of you. So that's it for this video. Thank you to everyone that has submitted their creation for this challenge. There's been some really amazing ones and congratulations to the winner. Definitely keep an eye out for the next challenge that is coming very, very soon. It is really fun and it's gonna be quite a little bit of a challenging one. So definitely keep an eye out for that. But I would love to hear your comments below of what you thought of these creations and also of the build challenge series on my channel and maybe also what you would like to see in a future build challenge. And with that all said, I hope you enjoyed it and found it some entertaining as always and we'll see you in the next one.